Hey everyone, over the last few days, I've been doing an extensive research on the Indian electronic sector because this is one sector that has multi bag return potential in the next 5 to 10 years. Today, electronic sector is the backbone of all the major digital revolution happening in the world, including your artificial intelligence, internet of things, electric vehicles, smartphones, 5G internet, and so on. On top of that, there are certain factors that have made Indian EMS market the world's fastest growing market. It looks like all stars are now aligned for exponential growth in Indian electronic sector. Now, electronic sector is quite complicated and I'm sure majority of you would not have enough knowledge on this sector. So what I've done is I divided this video in two parts. This is the first part where I want to discuss the electronic sector value chain, then key business model like your OEM versus ODM, then your HVLM versus LVHM model, then mega trends in EMS sector, then global EMS landscape and Indian EMS industry positioning in the global landscape, along with your key growth drivers and challenges. This will give you a clear picture about Indian electronic sector ecosystem and help you build a conviction before investing your money. I know that many of you would be watching this video just to know the stock names. But I'm sorry, this video is only for pure knowledge for serious long-term investors in Indian market. In the second part of this video, I discuss the key players in Indian EMS industry. All right, let's get started with this video. So EMS stands for Electronic Manufacturing Services. It basically includes companies that provide various manufacturing services to electronics OEM, such as your design, sourcing, manufacturing, then assembly, testing, distribution, and your after-sales services. Here, you should be very clear about two key players in the segment. On one side, you have electronics OEM, that is original equipment manufacturer, and on another side, you have electronics manufacturing service provider. For instance, there are millions of iPhones shipped to all over the world every year. Do you know who manufactures these iPhones? While iPhone parent company Apple, which is the OEM, always focused towards innovation design and customer experience, it has always outsourced its manufacturing to EMS service provider. And that's where your EMS companies comes into picture. For instance, iPhone displays either made by Samsung or LG in South Korea, then its flash memory is manufactured by Japanese factory, then its Gorilla Glass are either manufactured in US or Japan or Taiwan. Likewise, there are multiple components used in iPhone that are outsourced from all over the world. And finally, these components are assembled together to make an iPhone in China. And Apple's largest supplier is Foxconn. Likewise, every mobile brand you see out there, including your Samsung, LG, Oppo, Vivo, they outsource the mobile phone manufacturing. And this is just mobile phone. Just imagine all the electronic products that we use in our day-to-day -day life, right from TV, washing machine, AC, security camera, then laptop, LED lights, and so on. They are all outsourced to EMS companies. And these are only the consumer segment products. You have a whole bunch of aerospace sector, defense sector, then medical equipment, then your industrial equipment that requires millions of electronic components and need services of EMS companies. Now coming back to our Apple example, while almost all the iPhones of the world were manufactured in China, things are changing fast. Recently, Apple has started iPhone 14 manufacturing in India. Although the iPhones are manufactured by Foxconn Indian subsidiary Bharat FIH, but this iPhone factory setup would create a huge, huge ecosystem of electronic component manufacturing in India. Currently, India would contribute minutely in the overall iPhone production, but going forward, Apple intend to outsource more of iPhone manufacturing to India. And that's where India has immense growth potential. In fact, I recently read that Tata Group has entered into a manufacturing contract with Apple for its upcoming iPhone 15 and 15 Plus in India. So yes, it is just the beginning. Now, first of all, it's very important to understand the overall value chain of EMS industry and figure out which part of value chain Indian EMS companies cater to. So this is the EMS value chain. First, you have R&D and IP ownership. This segment is dominated by Europe and US. India here lacks the maturity due to large capex and long gestation period. The next is design services, where India has medium maturity and most of the work is outsourced to countries like China, South Korea, Thailand. Then you have component fabrication and sourcing where again India has medium maturity and dependent upon the import for components from other Asian countries. However, in terms of manufacturing and system assembly, India has an established setup. And please note that 
many EMS players in India are slowly evolving to offer complete design services apart from just contract manufacturing. The next is configuration and testing and then you have packaging, distribution and repair services. And finally, marketing and sales. Within this value chain, the key role of EMS player include design, manufacturing, packaging, distribution and repair and maintenance service. Currently, Indian EMS sector is matured in manufacturing segment, but it is now also expanding its presence in design and packaging distribution and repair maintenance to provide end-to-end -end EMS service. Now, next very important thing to understand is the business model of EMS companies, which is divided into OEM and ODM. Let's have a look. So overall electronics industry operate in two models, OEM and ODM. Within OEM model, the electronics OEM take care of research, design, then selection of raw material and EMS companies only act as a manufacturer where they simply assemble the products based on the OEM specification. In this case, since the design and other specification is already provided by original OEM player, there's not much scope for differentiation for EMS player. And when you don't have differentiation, you can't command high margins. Remember that. Then second model is ODM model, where original OEM players outsource the entire manufacturing to EMS players, right from your design to selection of raw material, as well as manufacturing. Here, the key differentiation would be innovation. And that's where you can command higher operating margin in ODM model. And that is the reason the established EMS players are now expanding from OEM model to ODM model. Moreover, when you hold the IP rights for design, it becomes difficult for original OEM players to switch their suppliers that again create customer stickiness. I've already explained this OEM versus ODM model when I covered Dixon technology business model earlier and mentioned that Dixon is now moving from OEM to ODM model where the operating margin is higher. So whenever you analyze the business model of electronic companies, always check whether they are simply involved in low margin contract manufacturing or they also have ODM model because the key differentiation would be in ODM model. Because in OEM model, the only differentiation would be cost and you can't just compete on cost, especially with China. I hope you understand the difference between OEM and ODM model. Now, next segmentation of EMS players on the basis of volume and mix, which is your HVLM and your LVHM. Again, very important. Let's have a look. So HVLM stands for high volume, low mix and LVHM stands for low volume, high mix. In your HVLM, a few types of assembly are produced in large quantity. It include your manufacturing of consumer electronics like TV, washing machine, mobile, then computer, laptop, etc. Example of company in HVLM segment include Dixon Technology. Then LVHM has high emphasis on quality and customization that changes according to customer requirement. So LVHM has low volume but higher margin as client prefer to pay higher prices without compromising on quality. It includes electronics manufacturing in aerospace sector, medical equipment, defense, and so on. We recently discussed signed DLM IPO that falls into LVHM category. Now let us look at the EMS sector end industry and mega trends in each industry. So the biggest end industry of EMS sector is mobile industry. As per research, smartphone contribution is around 24% of the EMS market. It is followed with IT sector with 20% contribution that include your computers, laptops, tablet, printer, etc. Then third largest industry is telecom that contribute around 10.5%. Next is industrial sector with around 9% contribution. It include your smart meters, inverters, etc. Then comes your consumer electronics with around 8.7% contribution that basically include your LED TV, washing machine, AC and so on. Then you have Consumer appliances with 7.3% around contribution. It include your smart fans, water heater, kitchen appliances like grinder, etc. Then automotive sector contribution is around 6%. Aerospace and defense contribution is around 6%. Medical contribution is around also around 6%. And then you have lighting sector with around 2% contribution and remaining caters to your data center, cloud storage and so on. Now, as far as growth is concerned, all these segments are bound to grow. For instance, there's huge surge in demand for mobile phone due to rising income and spending power. And mobile is one sector where we keep changing the phone frequently. So demand for mobile phone would sustain for very long. Now, one key trend in mobile industry is premiumization, where consumers are upgrading to mid-premium and premium phones. Next, the demand for IT hardware has saturated, 
but there will be need for laptops, tablets and so on. Then there's a whole new world of smart cities and smart homes that again fall into the gamut of EMS sector. So the demand for consumer electronics and appliances would continue to grow. The biggest growth driver for the segment is 140 crore population of our country. And even today, nearly 60% population is from rural India. So another big trend in India is urbanization. Many people are moving from villages to towns and cities. Hence, there will be high demand for electronics equipment from consumer side. Then if you look at other sectors like telecom, it is going through a massive transformation with deployment of 5G technology. So there's already a rapid deployment of 5G wireless ecosystem in the world. Then eventually we will see 6G technology and the saga would continue. Then medical sector is transforming into medtech. There's a huge innovation happening in medical science on technology front. There's a lot of innovation in your handheld portable medical devices like your blood pressure uh, monitoring, then oximeter, then glucometer and so on. Recently, I read that Google has invented an eye scan technology using AI that can potentially replace your CT scan, MRI and X-ray. So medical electronics sector is going to explode in the future. Then if you look at industrial sector, IoT is one of the biggest growth driver where every manufacturing company is focusing on use of robotics and machine to improve production efficiency and reduce cost. Next, if you look at auto industry, the future cars would be autonomous, shared and electric. There's a continuous innovation in your infotainment system, then your ADAS system and so on. Likewise, in aerospace and defense, global OEMs are adopting advanced electronics for surveillance, communication and your cyber warfare that are supported by AI technology. So in short, the future of EMS sector is very, very bright. Now let us try to understand the global EMS industry by geography and identify where does India stands in the global picture. As you can see on the screen, as of 2021, the global EMS market stood at $880 billion and China has been an undisputed leader with 46.7% contribution. By the way, this is from Frost and Sullivan analysis. US contribution was 15.9% and look at India, it's just 2.2% contribution. So Chinese EMS market is nearly 23 times bigger than India. But the key here is future. As per estimates, by 2026, China contribution will reduce to 44.4% and India contribution will increase to 7%. So basically, Indian EMS industry is expected to grow more than three times in the next three to four years. The reason why China has dominated the global EMS industry is due to its lowest cost benefit. Chinese government provided huge subsidies to EMS players on every aspect, right from your electricity to land to tax benefit and so on. As a result, Chinese players built huge factories and achieved economy of scale. Today, nobody can compete with Chinese players on cost front. Moreover, China had the availability of skilled labor. It had a world-class infrastructure and also the biggest consumer market in the world due to its huge population. But now situation is changing. First of all, the trade war between US and China has created business continuity risk. As a result, US MNCs are reducing their dependency from China and building new supply chain outside China. Second, Chinese labor cost is also rising. At one point, Chinese labor cost was the lowest in the world, but today there are other countries like India that offer much lower labor cost. Now it is not that global MNCs would shut down their factory in China or cut off relationship with China. China would continue to dominate the global manufacturing, but one trend is very clear. Looking at the future, Global MNCs are trying to reduce their dependency from China and India has emerged as preferred alternative. As discussed earlier, Chinese EMS industry is nearly 23 times of India. So even if 10-15% of Chinese EMS market shift to India in the next 3-4 to four years, Indian market would grow 3-4 to four times. So far we have discussed the value chain of EMS sector, difference between OEM and ODM, then segmentation by HVLM and LVHM, and then your other end industry for EMS sector with future prospect. Finally, we have discussed the global EMS market and India's position in the overall EMS sector. Now let us try to understand the Indian EMS industry. So Indian EMS industry is on a high growth trajectory and expected to grow from $1,469 billion in FI22 to $5,995 billion by FI27. That's a staggering four times growth expected in the next five years. The biggest growth driver for Indian EMS industry include ever-growing demand for electronics due to rising income and spending power of Indians and of course, 
the population of 140 crore plus people with nearly 50% people below the age of 25. Then second trend is China plus one theme where global MNCs are reducing their dependency from China and India has emerged as a great alternative. So Indian EMS companies would not only help in manufacturing the, for the Indian market, but there is immense growth potential in the export sector. That would be make in India for the world. Then third growth driver is role of Indian government with PLI schemes focusing on mobile manufacturing, medical device, IT and telecom product, then white goods like LED, AC, etc. Then government is promoting your domestic manufacturing with Atmanirbhar Bharat. Then government has recently announced incentive worth $10 billion to set up semiconductor ecosystem in India. All these factors would fuel the growth of EMS industry in India. Now finally we need to discuss the key challenges for Indian EMS industry. I think one of the biggest challenges for Indian EMS industry is lack of electronic component ecosystem. Local availability of electronic component plays a crucial role in strengthening the EMS ecosystem of a country. And India unfortunately doesn't have the component and chip fabrication ecosystem. It still needs to depend upon China and other countries for import of electronic components. And that result in high import cost. As a result, Indian EMS companies struggled with margin and find it difficult to compete with China, Taiwan and your Vietnam. So what has happened is over the last few decades, China has become an undisputed leader in EMS sector with sheer dominance. You can't compete with China on cost. And today, China has all the advanced technology and decades of expertise. That is the reason all major MNCs, including Apple, have outsourced their product manufacturing to China. And even though Apple has come to India, its iPhone are still manufactured by Taiwan Foxconn subsidiary Bharat FIH. Now, if Indian EMS industry has to compete with China, it would need to build a complete EMS ecosystem in the country along with government support with incentives, tax benefit, etc. to manufacture products at lower cost so that they can attract the Apples and the Googles and Samsungs of the world. That's where Indian government is focusing on building an ecosystem for semiconductor chip manufacturing along with other components. Moreover, government is now offering PLI incentives along with focus on Atmanirbhar Bharat. And of course, you need a world-class infrastructure so that Indian EMS sector can become more efficient and can compete with China. Yes, it won't be an easy journey, but there is already a lot of development in place and I'm hopeful that Indian EMS industry can emerge as biggest alternative to China and capture more and more market in the future. So yes, while the Indian EMS sector is still in the nascent stages, there is immense growth potential in the future. I don't want to stress this video further. I hope I was able to do justice with the EMS industry overall landscape. And in the next video, I look at the key listed player in Indian EMS sector that can potentially generate multi-bagger returns for the investor. Now, if you found this video useful, do share it with your friends. And for more such content, consider subscribing to this channel. I will see you in the second part of this video. Till then, stay tuned.